Weekly Outdoor Plus, a new and exciting outdoor show right here on Fox 55 WFXS, every Sunday from 10.30 to 11 a.m., presented by Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point, Wisconsin, starring new owner Gary Hintz, his youngest son, the show pro, Jace Hintz, and the show producer, creator, and host, his oldest son, Seth Hintz. Now sit back and get ready to learn about archery and the world of the outdoors. Episode 1, The Beginning. Welcome to Weekly Outdoor Plus. Today I am very proud to present our first episode. For the next seven months, uh, Bucks and Bulls Archery, right here in Stevens Point, Wisconsin, gets to bring you all of our uh, our local tips and uh, and archery trades that um, that we feel value uh, sharing with with the community of archers and and all of our customers and viewers. Um, today we are going to go over what Bucks and Bulls Archery is. Uh, it is now under new ownership. My father, Gary Hintz, uh, moved it down not too far from the old place in Plover, um, down Church Street, still in Stevens Point. Uh, it's a full indoor range, uh, techno hunt leagues and just starting up very soon, um, and many different products. After this, we'll take and uh, explain to you a little bit about what Bucks and Bulls Archery is and who Gary Hintz, the new owner, is. and. Uh, uh, my brother, Jace, uh, he's, he's a pretty good shot, I guess. He's going to give you a lesson uh, and explain to you how each week he's going to give you a few different tips, um, and they'll tie together uh, to help you become better archers and, and give you a reason to come in here and, and practice once in a while. Um, so we're going to take a short break, and when we come back, uh, you get to meet the new owner of Bucks and Bulls Archery, Gary Hintz. Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point is now under new ownership and has a new location. Stop down to 3272 Church Street and meet the new owner, Gary Hintz. His fully stocked pro shop carries Matthews, Hoyt, and many more products to serve all your needs. They also do all repairs for any style and full customizations. Leagues and lessons will begin soon, so stop in today and check out what's new, because we're confident that we can get you from in here to out there. Bucks and Bulls Archery, Stevens Point, Wisconsin. On game day, don't get flagged for a small slice violation. Go big with Polito's Big Slice. Here's the competition. Here's the Polito's Big Slice. With 32 specialty pizzas to choose from, Polito's has your slice. Polito's Pizza, home of the Big Slice. Locations in Stevens Point, Wausau, La Crosse, and Oshkosh. Point After Pub on the north side of Stevens Point has the great food, friendly service, and refreshing drinks that will keep you coming back. Stop in Fridays before or after the game for our mouth-watering fish and shrimp fry specials. Point After is also now open for lunch. Check out the website, pointafterpub.com, for daily hours and full menu. Don't forget about Packer Game Day. Bring down the gang and enjoy one of our great specials and cheer on your team on one of our many HD TVs. So come on by and score, because this Point After is good. Contracting. AG Warzella Contracting, family owned and operated since 1991. Whether it's new construction, remodeling, roofing, siding, additions, or deck work, it's AG Warzella Contracting. <laughs> Serving all of Wisconsin, AG Warzella is fully insured and certified for your next project. Contact them today at 715-344-8170. AG Warzella Contracting is always great work. Welcome back to Weekly Outdoor Plus. Seth here with the new owner, Gary Hintz of Bucks and Bulls Archery, who is uh, presenting this show um, in, right in the shop here. We're going to be doing a lot of the stuff and uh, with all the, the product stuff and um, the services and lessons. Um, I guess uh, we got this nice new location that we can we can utilize for it. Uh, why don't you tell us a little about a little bit about the new place? Well, I bought Bucks and Bulls Archery from it was in, located in Plover, Wisconsin, back in July. We opened up our new location here at 3272 Church Street in Stevens Point. 
and uh, it's pretty much a full archery service. We do everything from strings to cams to arrows cutting and bow tuning. And uh, We carry Matthew's Mission and Hoyt and we have all the 2013 bows in stock. And, uh, and get, get getting more new, new stuff all the time. The Matthew's Creed right here. Yep. Um, Any anything new and exciting uh, coming up that that you know of yet for 2013 here? Well, we're gonna have leagues, um, spots leagues, all starting right. January 28th, and uh, Techno Hunt League January 28th. Techno Hunt. What is it, what is that like? Um, a half hour league or uh, so many targets a night? It'll be so many targets and and you can come and shoot whenever we're open. Okay. You don't have to be here a certain night, so. Two man teams. Two man teams. Better get in here and sign up very soon. Yep, filling up fast. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, we've been waiting for uh, to get her going here. I'm excited to shoot it today for the first time myself. Mm -hmm. I know you guys had a little fun with it, you and Jace, when we uh, yep. we did a little practice run here. Yeah, come and check it out. It's like shooting at a um, video screen movie theater. Kind of neat. Yeah, oh, I know Ashley wanted to try it and she wasn't sure if she'd be any good, but if you, anybody can hit a 106 inch screen, I told her. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. Um, Otherwise, we do lessons for yeah. people like that too. There you go. <laughs> um, back to the spots, real quick. Uh, is that kind of the same same setup, two man team? Yep, two man yep. team, come and shoot whenever we're open. And then noon or night. And when weekend. are we starting to do that? January 28th. That is very soon. Everything's January 28th. Good stuff. Both of them? Yep. Okay. Cool. Very exciting. Um, I know you uh, You mentioned the lessons. Yep. What, kind of, what kind of lessons do you guys offer? Well, anything from beginners to advanced back tension shooting with form and follow through and stance and everything you can imagine. Yeah, you can always learn something new, right? Yep. I've been doing it for 50 years and I'm still learning stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, the uh, Not too long ago, you did the uh, the less archery instructor instructor classes, right? The course, yep. the certifications for all that stuff. Yep. Advanced certified archery instructors through the National Field Archers Association. Um, like 14 years now, I believe it is. Oh, so I can help a lot of people out. Help me out a lot. Just become a little better archer and better in the field, better on the range. Yep, yep. Beat your friends. Helped uh, help my brother a lot shooting targets, and and helps me a lot in the woods and. We're kind of like complete opposite archers, and and he's basically taught us everything we knew about it for the last 14 years. Well, Jace probably has only been shooting for 14 years. Mm -hmm. Maybe, no, yeah, probably pretty close. Well, he started, he's about Me five. a little more. Yeah, so pretty close. But uh, but there's for all the, the different types of archers and stuff out there, there's all different uh, different techniques and little tips that you can always use to to refresh uh, refresh your mental health and keep keep your uh, your form and stay on top of your game. And you don't have to be a hunter to shoot archery. Anybody can shoot archery. It's it's a a sport in itself, plus you could be a hunter if you need to be or want to be. Mm -hmm. Well, and now we have a state-of-the-art place here to, to yeah. do stuff like that. Something I dreamed about since I was a kid. Yeah, <laughs> it's in, exciting. <laughs> indoor carpeted, air-conditioned shooting lanes. Yep. Oh, yeah. We're really excited to show you some more. So. Uh, I think when we come back, uh, you get to meet Jace. Gonna right. give you guys a lesson. He's he's kind of our uh, shot pro because he has a lot of experience uh, with like tournament shooting and pressure shooting and and recreational shooting. Like he said, just brings his friends in here and you could spend a couple hours having a blast. So uh, so we'll get him in here and see what he's gonna be doing for us the next few weeks and yep. maybe maybe we can learn something. Sounds good. All right. Let's get her done. We'll be right back. <laughs> Why does your phone work so good here and mine can't even find service? That's because I went to Sopa Cellular in Plover, Wisconsin. Sopa Cellular is conveniently located in the village right next to Menards. Stop in and check out why they have the most affordable unlimited text and data smartphone plans. They offer LG, Samsung, HTC, Motorola, and many other top quality Android market devices. Sopa Cellular has all your accessories for any style of phone with hundreds to choose from, so they are sure to have the deal you're looking for. Make Sopa Cellular your Element Mobile Headquarters and stop down to 1813 Park Avenue in Plover today. For all your construction needs, see A.G. Warzella Contracting. A.G. Warzella Contracting, family owned and operated since 1991. Whether it's new construction, remodeling, 
roofing, siding, additions, or deck work, it's AG Warzella Contracting. Serving all of Wisconsin, AG Warzella is fully insured and certified for your next project. Contact them today at 715-344-8170. AG Warzella Contracting is always great work. Hi, welcome to Polito's Pizza of Wausau, home of the Big Slice. Go big with Polito's Big Slice. With 32 specialty pizzas to choose from, Polito's has your slice. Locations in Stevens Point, Wausau, La Crosse, and Oshkosh. Make sure you stop down at Polito's before or after the game. Whether it's a pre-game meal or a halftime snack, make it Polito's. Polito's Pizza, home of the Big Slice. On game day, stop down at Bojo Sports Bar and Grill. Watch the NFL ticket on one of 12 big screen TVs, plus enjoy free brats during Packer games and free wins during Monday Night Football. Bojo Sports Bar and Grill, full beer and one company. Located off Interstate 39 and County Road NN, right next to Subway. Bojo Sports Bar and Grill. Welcome back to Weekly Outdoor Plus. I'm here with Gary Hintz, owner of Bucks and Bulls Archery. And uh, we're here today to help you go through, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do in a lot of different episodes. We're gonna go through different parts of your form, different parts of your setup, anything that can help you become a more accurate hunter, more accurate archer, get that big white tail when it comes down to the last couple days and you can't chance missing one opportunity. Um, the first thing I'd like to talk about is gonna be your feet. You gotta start right at the base, nice set, uh, evenly weighted base and you're gonna be able to shoot a lot more accurately. You're not leaning back or forward or anything like that. A lot of the issues like that will come from your equipment. If your draw length is going to be too long, you're going to be leaning way back. If it's too short, you're going to be leaning forward. If you don't stagger your feet a little bit, your arm's going to be too straight. There's a lot of little things that you can put together with simply starting at your base that we can help you here, and we're going to help you in the next upcoming episodes. Uh, next, we're going to show you your grip. A lot of people are going to grab their grip way too thick. If you bring it out a little bit more, you're gonna be a lot more steady. You're gonna line up all your bones, arm to arm to arm. You also have your uh, elbow here. You don't want it too straight out. We'll have Gary show you this, pull it back here. Right now he has the correct little bit amount of bend in there. If he straightens it out as hard as he can, pushing, fighting your bow, you can see his whole setup start to shake. This is not gonna be good because obviously you're not gonna hold steady. <laughs> if he bends it too much, now he's shaking again because he's using a lot of bicep. It's hard to hold your bow back. As you can see, you can let down. If you do all that, it's simple. A lot of people were taught back in the day to bend your arm a lot. That's how I believe you originally taught it. And uh, when you're doing that, you're not gonna be able to hold your bow steady at all. Once you find the correct way to bend it, you're gonna be a lot more uh, accurate. You're not gonna be shaking. You're gonna be using zero muscle. Doesn't matter how strong you are, using your muscles with this much weight and tension, it's not gonna work out. If we could have him pull back one more time here. The big thing is when you're all up in tense, you can't relax, you're gonna be shaking again. This is where you can drop his shoulder in the socket, raise it up, and then when he relaxes, brings it down, and now it's bone on bone again. You don't have all the extra tension added, but from your muscles, from your back muscles, from your biceps to your triceps. Now, we're gonna take a peek at, he's got his anchor point here. Anchor point is one thing that a lot of people, when they're scared of shooting a bull, or they don't trust themselves, they won't put their face on the string. Where he's got his nose right on the tip of the string here. He's got his hand locked in behind his jaw. Really easy features that you can lock in and you won't have to worry about ever, you know, floating around and not looking through your peep sight right in the center. It's like a back sight basically. It's gonna help you shoot a lot better. You can let down here. In the upcoming episodes, we'll also be showing you different parts of your bowl, different tuning tips, really basic, easy to do. Uh, different rests that'll help out like dropaways compared to lizard tongues, what's better for what you're shooting. Uh, different sight setups from movable to multi-pin, what's the benefits, what's the downs of every single one of them. Um, if you have any questions in the upcoming episodes, we'd be more than help, happy to help you out. If we don't cover something you have a question on, feel free to stop on in, ask us, and hopefully we'll be able to get you out there in the woods faster than you think, help you get a little bit more steady. Um, we also have a techno hunt room which is directly behind me here where it's uh, live archery basically. It's uh, on a projector. It's real life hunting situations. You can practice in the off season. Um, it's really good for the hunter because there's a lot of unethical and ethical shots where you have to decide when to shoot the animal. 
You can uh, do different yardages, not just exactly 20. You can go out as far as you want. Uh, you can hunt big game, small game. You can hunt, go on a safari hunt right here in central Wisconsin. And uh, yeah, you can shoot in the wind if you feel like you know doing something crazy. Uh, you can challenge your partners. Like I think I'm gonna have to do with this guy here, see if he can take me on. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Think you wanna shoot? Yep. All right. I'll take you on. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll uh, have to try it out, show you what it looks like. Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point is now under new ownership and has a new location. Stop down to 3272 Church Street and meet the new owner, Gary Hanks. His fully stocked pro shop carries Matthews, Hoyt, and many more products to serve all your needs. They also do all repairs for any style and full customizations. Leagues and lessons will begin soon, so stop in today and check out what's new, because we're confident that we can get you from in here to out there. Bucks and Bulls Archery, Stevens Point, Wisconsin. On game day, stop down at Bojo Sports Bar and Grill. Watch the NFL ticket on one of 12 big screen TVs, plus enjoy free brats during Packer games and free wins during Monday Night Football. Bojo Sports Bar and Grill, cold beer and warm company. Located off Interstate 39 and County Road NN, right next to Subway. Bojo Sports Bar and Grill. For all your construction needs, see A.G. Warzella Contracting. A.G. Warzella Contracting, family owned and operated since 1991. Whether it's new construction, remodeling, roofing, siding, additions, or deck work, it's A.G. Warzella Contracting. Serving all of Wisconsin, A.G. Warzella is fully insured and certified for your next project. Contact them today at 715-344-8170. A.G. Warzella Contracting is always great work. Why does your phone work so good here and mine can't even find service? That's because I went to Sopa Cellular in Plover, Wisconsin. Sopa Cellular is conveniently located in the village, right next to Menards. Stop in and check out why they have the most affordable, unlimited text and data smartphone plans. They offer LG, Samsung, HTC, Motorola, and many other top quality Android market devices. Sopa Cellular has all your accessories for any style of phone, with hundreds to choose from. So they are sure to have the deal you're looking for. Make Sopa Cellular your Element Mobile Headquarters and stop down to 1813 Park Avenue in Plover today. If that got your attention, wait till you see what this does to a 130 inch potent young white tailed deer in the peak of the rut in central Illinois Fulton County. Whew. I know I'm not going to miss it. One of our main objectives here on Weekly Outdoor Plus is not only to show you what Bucks and Bulls Archery in Stevens Point can do for you and your hunting capabilities, but to also show you what we like to do um, outside of uh, the archery shop, doing uh, all kinds of hunting and not only deer, but I mean, most of the stuff we do do is whitetail deer, but. But this season, um, we're going to get down and we're going to show you all kinds of different aspects of hunting and, and archery um, and how we can incorporate that um, with you and the family and, and enjoying the outdoors. Some of the most fun that we have isn't always going out and getting that kill or or going out and and coming home with like some kind of a, a product. Uh, sometimes a successful hunt is simply going out and finding a crazy deer trail like this one or possibly some tracks that you recently found and, and then they led you up to a gigantic rub on a pine tree the size of a basketball. Well, the only thing we could think of doing is putting a trail camera right in front of it because something big is coming through here and we have some serious proof. I just hope that somebody's gonna walk by, we're gonna get a picture, and man, it'll be picture perfect as long as you watch out for that tree there. 
Like I said, it's not always about the hunt. It's about spending time in the woods and enjoying it. Cherishing all the different aspects of the hunt, as far as setting up your stands, uh, the trail cameras, and the mock scrapes, putting everything together so that once you're done, it's all pieced the puzzle. The result is a picture of a beautiful white tail, or whatever you're going for. We had some exciting opportunities this past fall to go out on a youth hunt where we took a few children down to central Illinois between the ages of, uh, I believe they were 7 and 12 or 13, and uh, I had the pleasures of sitting with one of them all weekend. It was a blast. We saw, I think, 12 or 13 different bucks our first day, including this really nice 10-pointer that, uh, that we saw on the second evening. And I don't want to give it all away because hopefully, ooh, hopefully, we're gonna get him to come and tell his story, but we were able to bag him his first buck, and it was a nice one. To sum up the little bit that we've been showing you here in the last couple of minutes, it's not all about white-tailed deer hunting, and it's not all about archery. It's about getting outside and having fun, and that's what we're excited to bring you each week. We're going to get you outside of the shop, outside of the lessons, outside of the head games, outside of the products and all the mess you can get into with your equipment, and we're going to go out and we're going to have some fun. That's what it all comes down to. As soon as this uh, ice is gone, we're going to do a little bit more bow fishing. Um, I know where there's some pheasant hunting going to be involved, uh, a few of my relatives um, uh, got to go down and do uh, some African safari hunts and, uh, and uh, I know it was a father and son experience that that was really exciting and, and we're really looking forward to sharing with you guys along with a lot of other stories that um, you can see we have for you. So don't forget to tune back every Sunday at 10.30 on this channel, Fox 55. Or check us out on Facebook because you can catch all of our episodes online on Facebook and YouTube. We look forward to seeing you again. Stop down at Bojo Sports Bar and Grill. Watch the NFL ticket on one of 12 big screen TVs. Plus, enjoy free brats during Packer games and free wings during Monday Night Football. Bojo Sports Bar and Grill. Cold beer and warm company. Located off Interstate 39 and County Road NN, right next to Subway. Bojo Sports Bar and Grill. On game day, don't get flagged for a small slice violation. Go big with Polito's Big Slice. Here's the competition. Here's the Polito's Big Slice. With 
32 specialty pizzas to choose from, Polito's has your slice. Polito's Pizza, home of the big slice. Locations in Stevens Point, Wausau, La Crosse, and Oshkosh. Why does your phone work so good here and mine can't even find service? That's because I went to Sopa Cellular in Plover, Wisconsin. Sopa Cellular is conveniently located in the village, right next to Menards. Stop in and check out why they have the most affordable, unlimited text and data smartphone plans. They offer LG, Samsung, HTC, Motorola, and many other top quality Android market devices. Sopa Cellular has all your accessories for any style of phone, with hundreds to choose from. So they are sure to have the deal you're looking for. Make Sopa Cellular your Element Mobile Headquarters and stop down to 1813 Park Avenue in Plover today. Point After Pub on the north side of Stevens Point has the great food, friendly service, and refreshing drinks that will keep you coming back. Stop in Fridays before or after the game for our mouth-watering fish and shrimp fry specials. Point After is also now open for lunch. Check out the website, pointafterpub.com, for daily hours and full menu. Don't forget about Packer Game Day. Bring down the gang and enjoy one of our great specials and cheer on your team on one of our many HD TVs. So come on by and score, because this point after is good. Techno Hunt, as real as it gets, this virtual bow hunting trip will take you around the world on exciting adventures for elk, bear, Welcome back to Weekly Outdoor Plus, presented by Bucks and Bulls Archery, right here in central Wisconsin, Stevens Point. Uh, uh, just before we went to the break here, you got an, uh, a little overview of the lessons and the tips that we're going to be doing for you guys with Jace, and uh, and right at the end, he he did challenge my dad here to uh, to a techno hunt shoot off. Um, being that we're kind of running out of time here today because we went over a lot of stuff, uh, we're gonna we're gonna bring the challenge to you next week so that we can show it to you a little more in depth uh, and get an idea of how techno hunt works. Um, this is the Techno Hunt, huh? Yeah, we got a 110 inch screen that kind of simulates a uh, movie theater type screen. And yeah. we just change the tips on our arrows to a blunt arrow. We shoot the screen, the computer scores us. And uh, next week, Jason and I are going to square off for a little challenge. And it's open to the public. You can come shoot anytime you want. Call ahead if you want. And that's about it. Well, you you going to beat him? Yeah, I'm gonna beat him. Yeah, yeah. Didn't go really go that well in the practice round, though. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready, no. Yeah. Well, let's do a little practicing here. Uh, thanks, thanks for watching, guys. We would really look forward to uh, to the next few weeks and and sharing some of our adventures and uh, I don't know whatever else we want to share with you. <laughs> we'll see you next time.